Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Pros. In today's video, we'll look at how you can create blend text effect in Adobe Illustrator. We'll be creating out these three different versions of design using the blending options. In the previous video, we have seen how you can create a pattern text effect using the symbol and the 3D extreme bevel option. We have seen how you can create alphabet, numbers, or any shape you like, and then apply patterns to a multiple number of surfaces using the map art option. In this tutorial, we'll look at how you can create out these three different designs using the same tool that is blend tool. So for the first design, we're going to type our text using a bold uh, font and then we'll create under duplicate of it, modify the interior of the text and then apply blend option. And this will give it that interesting look to each alphabet. For the second design, we're going to choose a nice curvy font, uh, bold font. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, use the scissor tool and give a cut one around here and the other on the opposite sides. Same for the top and the bottom and then we'll apply blend to the strokes and this will give you interesting look to your design and we have done it to the two as well. And for this last design what we have done is we have applied a color blend effect using the blend tool and then we have given a nice curvy look uh, to it uh, using the path. So let's begin with the designing process. So let's understand how we can create out this first design and it's very simple. The first thing we're going to do is to type out a font. So let's type out a font and the font should be bold. So I'll just type out X and then after that I'll just scale this up right and then let's change the color to white for now so that we can see it and this is white. Now I'll just scale this up a little bit more and we'll expand this so whatever you do whatever text you choose type it out make it a bold one and over here i have used avenue next and the font i have used is heavy so it's very thick so choose a thick bold uh, font and after that go to object and expand it and this will give you that object uh, look and now you can modify it very easily and Let's scale this up a little bit. Now, to create this design, what we can do is we can create a duplicate of this. There are two ways to do this. One is duplicating this and the other way is adding a stroke and then making the stroke into path object and then subtracting it. I'll show it to you uh, in other text. For this one, duplicating is the easiest way. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate it. Command Control C, Command Control F and then I'll just scale this down a little bit. Okay, so we got that under one. Now selecting these two, let's uh, give it a stroke color. So just click on this to switch the color and here we go. And for now, let's see the thickness. So we got this font, this font. I think this is good enough for this now. And what I'll do is I'll go to Object, Blend and click on make and this will add a blend and to increase the number of blending uh, layers you can go to a uh, double click on over here blend tool and this will open this blend option here choose specify steps set the specify steps around let's say 15 and enter and let's see how many you want and i think this is good enough for now and now the next step is to modify it according to your design so overall it's looking great it's very clean uh, what do we need for this concept is we need the inner design to be like structurally uh, modified like a uniform look given and this will give you that cool look so let's do it now using the text selection tool you can select these vectors and let's just move around like this so i'll just move one around here like giving you that net effect around here and this one i'll just move it to the top and this will give you that close on this over here this one as well we'll keep it something like that this one i'll just move it up something around here right and this one we'll just bring it somewhere around here like that and here i'll just bring it to the corner okay a little bit more here as well i'll just move a little bit to the corner this one i'll just move it around here and a little bit upward just to give that effect and this one will bring it down this one is we'll move it a little bit this side right and this one a little bit this side and this one uh, we'll keep it somewhere around here and this one a little bit of upward so as you can see we have modified each of the vertices using the dice selection tool and if you check it out it looks the same and this is the first text and uh, if you want the th uh, thickness to be a little bit larger you can increase the stroke thickness i'll just scale this up a little bit more just to fill up the area something like that and this one around here so as you can see our thickness is a little bit lesser compared to the our original design so we can select it double click go in there 
and just select these individual ones so it's like this and let's increase it to 1.5 okay and do the same for the other as well so 1.5 and let's see how it looks so this is brighter and the font are thicker so i think this is looking great let's see uh the other design and here we're going to use little different technique over here we have duplicated and directly modified it here we're going to use this stroke technique so let's do it so for this what i'll do is i'll choose this k one because this is a little complicated for the t one you can see i have modified it and what I did is I just made this corner around and over here I removed one of the corner and this will give you that uh, overlapping section and that's all it's that simple for the K I'll show you this so let's type out K okay and let's increase the font I'll just keep it something this much size and now change the color to white and expand it object expand and click OK now we got the fill object let's uh, change it to stroke color you can do it but before that let's uh, create this inner region so uh, what you need to do is create a duplicate of this command control c and f right we got duplicate on top now let's add a stroke thickness so let's give it around let's say 17 and let's give it to inside align the stroke to inside and let's change the stroke color to something black just apply let's say that's a brown or something like that and you can just increase the stroke thickness to something like that okay so this is something which we over here we have duplicated it and when you scale it down it's uh, proportionally done but over here if you directly scale it down you can see it's not uh, forming the shame design as an X because the center point for X was over here for K it's not like that so what we need to do is we need to use the stroke uh, to get that balance in the design so you can either you want to give it a little more thinner you can just increase the stroke thickness and you got this thinner one something like that very simple very easy so now let's uh, do this so what I'll do is I'll just uh, keep it to around 20 and then object expand appearance okay and this will give you that strokes and now go to pathfinder and just subtract it and inner region is ready now selecting uh, these two both let's apply stroke by switching the fill to the stroke and you got the stroke thickness uh something here the stroke thickness is a little lesser so i think this is good so let's apply it let's select these and this and i'll go to object blend and make and here we got that you can go to a blend option here and you can adjust the number of uh, steps you like i'll keep it something like this for now and let's do the tweaking so let's select this uh, point and i'll just bring it somewhere around here so select individual points we got that net shape this over here as you can see the shape got lots of vertices so the easiest way you can do over here is select them right just go in there select this go to object path simplify and this will reduce the number of uh, points in that section so just make sure you got ample number of anchor points and reduce all the unnecessary ones so this will help you reduce the number of extra points so as you can see it has reduced almost all of it uh, if you see the original one the original one has got lots of points uh, by doing the settings you got uh, you have removed all the extra anchor points now you can easily uh, tweak it and here uh, if there is any extra points left out you can use the pen tool and just go over there and delete it out something like that and now we can just um, move around the anchor point so select this anchor point just move it somewhere around here and one more thing as you can see here i flattened this line at this corner and here we got that corner so i want to edit it so what we can do is we can edit it now as well so i'll just go in there selecting that right we can just add a point so i'll just add one point around here and one around this much and after that select the next selection tool and just move this point we can delete the extra points later on so i'll just move this point around here and using the pen tool just delete these extra points so delete delete 
and here we go we got that nice effect over there so i'll just move this a little bit upward just to parallel make it parallel and here as well just balance it something like that and now if i came out you can see you got that interesting design here as well and now let's do the modification so this one will go around this much so it's all about adjustment what how look you want to give to your design you have to just modify the inner region as per your looks and as you can see as i'm adjusting it you're getting those uh, looks you want and you can even modify the handles just to add this little curvish effect over here and as you can see here uh, the point is not breaking so i'm going to use this anchor point tool and just break it somewhere like that so use the anchor point tool to break the points if it's not working use the tag selection tool just to make sure to add that little curve uh, in each of the corners and now if i click out you can see our t is ready it's the exact same and now i can just increase the size and place it somewhere around here and in the same way you can create the t so this is the first design um uh, it was very simple to follow you have to just type out of text and create a duplicate of it and then apply a bend to blend to it and then after that use the explanation tool and modify each of the vertices and you can give interesting design to each fonts the next design we're going to talk about is this and this one is little different than the previous one the steps are a little different so it's very simple when you design it let's see how so i'm going to type out seven let's say uh, let's change the color to white so I just scale this up change the color to white okay and the font I'm going to use is this this is the font I have used this is stencil std bold so I'll just type out sde and stencil std bold and here we go and I'll just scale this up this much okay and expand it object expand click ok now here is the complicated part as you can see in the design this part is separate this part is separate that means these two objects has to be separated right now it's one and it's quite unconnected so we need to connect it so we'll be using the pen tool and draw the uh, gapping region so for now let's see uh, here you need a connection over here and then here so we're going to use the pen tool click over here and draw out a something like that just, just to click and make a path and then make a curve around here something like that and then click uh, go over here click a little bit of curve and then just blend it with this in the same way here also we need some extension so I'm gonna click over here and then click somewhere around here make a nice curve extension click and I'll just make a joint to this so this it'll give you that a nice extension now if i select this this you got one object so uh, first of all I select this and ungroup it ungroup right now this this all of them release clipping mask and this this is now separate so i'll select this this go to pathfinder and you make them single objects in the same way select this this and i'll just subtract this region out so i'll use the shape builder tool and just click over here and it will be subtracted so just select click subtract this this join them okay now we'll do some cleanup so here as you can see uh, this one is a little cool but this one we need some cleanup so we'll use the selection tool and do some little bit of modification to a design just to give nice curve to it so here use the handles giving a flow to it select the handles and just move around and give that nice look to it and after that once you are happy with this we need to clean this up so uh, we're going to follow the same step as our previous design what i did was i selected the object and to remove the extra points we'll go to object path simplify and using the simplify option you can remove any number of extra points and it will give you the minimum number of points you need to make that shape maintain so here you can adjust it as per your requirement so you can keep it somewhere on here where you got lots of vertices or you can just move around and see how many vertices will give you enough 
a shape so i think this is looking great and after that here as well i can just move around just to uh, see the placement of the angle so i think this is good and this one i'll just add one more something a little bit just to maintain that shape nice curve shape right one okay this one is looking greater and now click ok in the same way i select this to remove the extra points i'll go to object path simplify and under simplify it's already done i think this setting is great i click ok and here we go now let's select this and this and change the fill to stroke and we got that now as you can see uh we need to uh adhere the stroke thickness so this stroke thickness is little thicker so i'll keep it around 1.8 let's see okay i think this looks good enough okay i see some points over here so let's clean this up so we can use the pen tool and delete out some extra points okay or maybe keep one and then go to simplify and then click okay so we got that smooth one here as well we can see some extra points are there so we'll use the drag selection tool just to make sure that we select that point and and this so here one is there so i'll just delete this out pen tool delete and i'll just break this one use the anchor point tool to break the points click and just drag so just like that you can do the adjustments now select this and use the scissor tool so i'll click the scissor tool you find it under here scissor and give one cut around here and the other cut somewhere around here and if you see got one section the other section in the same way i'm going to select give a cut for this as well so select the scissor tool give one cut around here and the other around here and if you see this is separate now select these two curves go to object blend make and you can increase the number just uh, go in there and can give it around 20 let's see and maybe 18 one eight yep in the same way select like these two object blend make and let's see the numbers 18 is good enough seven is ready uh, we need to do a little bit of adjustments we need to keep this uh, to front and this to back and we'll change the color for this to little grayer so go there and give a little gray color to it just to add depth and here we go and if you feel like you need to increase the stroke thickness you can just go in there select these and just give it one pixel in the same way you can just go in there select one of it increase its thickness to one pixel and that's the way you create this in the same way i have created this two as well for the two as well here let's type out two so this is the text so let's just type out two okay this is the two and now we'll do follow the same steps scale of the size and now let's change uh, expanded object expand appearance okay and um, change the color to white click okay okay and now let's do the adjustment so first of all i'll go to object expand it then ungroup it that way you got all the objects separate now now let's do the adjustment so for the bottom one it's good for the second this one we do some adjustments so i'll use the pen tool right and do some connections so select this pen tool and just go there and draw it out in the same way i'll go over here and do some connections now select this 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 and this piece and combine them right and again to remove the extra points let's uh, delete our extra points a little bit of like over here you can see two delete one of it like that there are multiple number of it something like that here as well delete this one and this one and two more simplification go to object path simplify and just move around just to give a very soft subtle flow to it and click ok so here it is this one is smooth uh, you can reduce the points by going to path simplify and click ok now let's uh give a cut and before let's change the stroke over here something like that and this one as well uh, change it to stroke now using the scissor tool 
select the scissor tool, give one cut around here and the other somewhere around here. Do the same for the other. I'll just give one cut around here and the other at this point. And now select this and this and go to blend and make right like that. And uh, here you can see some stuff. So what we can do is just go in there and select the points and just make it a little bit more simpler. So use the simplify option and just make it more smoother in the way you want your design to look. Do the same for the other, select them, object, path, simplify and just move around just to give some smooth surface, something like that. Do the same for the bottom one as well. Select these two and then apply it. So go to object, path, sim uh, blend, make, object, blend, make and here after that uh, so go in there, select the path and go to object, path, simplify, right, make it smoother. And here as well, select this other piece, go to the object path, simplify and just move around the slider just to give that smooth surface. And here we go, we got a nice smooth uh, number two as well and that was so easy to create. Once you understand the concept of creating these numbers, you can create all the types of number very easily. Now our final design, this one, as you can see it's a blend, color blend text. So what you can do is, let's type out that text so it's very simple let's type out n so just click and scale it up and i'm going to use the font ave and this next and heavy and here you can choose bold and i think this is better so we'll go to object and expand it to give that um, object and then change the color to something white and now let's do some modification with the shape. So first of all, let's uh, make the corners round. So I'm going to use the die selection tool. Select these, uh, all the corner points from and make it round. Now after that, uh, create one duplicate and then one more duplicate, something like that. And now we'll make a blend. So select this, this, this. And before that, if you want to give color, you can do it. So I'll select this and fill this up with something like this. After that, select this and fill it up with some yellow color and then select this and fill it up with this dark red. And I also, you can see that uh, with the color, I have added a stroke color, black stroke color in the same yellow and black stroke color, dark red and black stroke color. Now select this, this and this and go to object, blend, make and you got this interesting and as you can see the flow is opposite so i'll go to object blend reverse front to back and this will give you that effect now we'll keep it somewhere around here for now and as you can see we got that nice blend but to get this flow we need to create a path so let's draw a path so with the pen tool i'll just draw it, click and drag and then click and drag very simple V. This is the path we're going to use to give that path. So I'm going to select this, this, and if you go to object, blend, you got this replace spline. Just click on it and you got this interesting design. So as you can see, um, uh, we have applied it very easily, but there was some problem with it. So I'll try to do it again. So I'll just place this somewhere around here. And again, I'll try to create it. So I'll draw and apply this uh, color white scale this up expand it object expand now using the selection tool i'll select these anchor points all these corner anchor points and then make the corners round and we got this nice end now i'll just uh, place this like this one then two right and now let's say uh, you want to blend it so we'll select all these three and object blend make and you got that nice blending option and as you can see you can't see the or uh, uh, like borders so let's add some borders so i'll just add black stroke to it and you can now see it and as you can see this number of uh, blending is very like large decrease it to 412 yep this looks great now next thing we're gonna do is to give this uh, to create that flow, use the pen tool and just draw the path, something like this. Okay. 
and uh, apply a stroke to it and we'll just make it something like this okay going this path and now I'll try to select this and this and go to path blend replace plan and it's the same I'll just place this path around here I'll draw one more path pen tool something like this and just to try it out select this and go to path blend replace okay the problem with is with the second one so let's try to fix it Come on, so what we can do is I'll just select this, these, and again try to fix it. So first of all, I'll just add a st stroke color to them and object blend make. And I'll just uh, try to modify the shape around here. So let's select this spline and just move it this one somewhere around here. Okay, and this one around here. So you can modify this path using the die selection tool, and you can even use the anchor point tool to give that more motion so i'll just try to create that so this this one should be smooth something like this so we got that nice flow over here so i'll just make it similar to it and now using the dice selection tool we can just move around and and here we go so this is the design we were trying to get and after modifying the spline i got it but uh, with this this one what we need to fix now is i'll just try to fix it by adding an anchor point so i'll just add one anchor point around here and i think i'll add one and if i just move around this anchor point you can see it was the anchor point that was giving that problem this reduce the spacing uh motion something like that and giving that flow here as well just extend it and give that nice flow to it so for this design i have added one extra point to the spline and did some modification using the die selection tool and we got this nice smooth design now if you want to change the color you can just pick this surfaces and just apply the color i'll just pick the other one and that way you can apply this effect to any text you like and over here as you can see there is some irregularity in the font so what i did is i'll just select this okay and applied object envelope distort and mesh and then i have added 4x4 mesh to it and after that using die selection tool i select the selected these anchor points so and just move it on one side in the same way now we'll select these middle anchor points and just try to move it up or down it's on you you can see by moving the vertices you can give some irregular look to your text so here is the plain one here is the modified one so that was all the steps that we have used create to create this interesting text effect the first design we have created was very simple we have used direct uh, blend tool option and then use the extension tool to modify the anchor points and use the handles to give some curve over here and in the second design we have used the font expanded it use the scissor tool to cut the anchor points and then we apply the blend to the strokes and we have created this seven and two for the last one we have duplicated the alphabet then then we have applied it blend and after that we have used a stroke path to give this flow to it by replacing the spline or you can directly uh, modify or edit the spline using the die selection tool uh, and the anchor point tool so finally we have created uh, these three amazing text effect using the blend option i hope you enjoy this tutorial uh, don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you